catastrophizing. Some of you may be catastrophizers. You may be thinking the worst. Uh, oh my God, what if? What if this talk doesn't go well? What if um, I don't get accepted into the university? What if this date doesn't turn out well? So some of us spend a lot of time not just ruminating, but taking the what if to an extreme and, and living in anguish, worrying about what if, okay? Pre pretty miserable way to get through life. The, wor the wound with which she traveled vibrated with her. I shall never have what I deserve. I shall become bitter and defeated and dim, and I shall never really paint. I'm a freak, a crippled animal, something to be put down, put to sleep, put out of its misery. I don't even know who wrote that. It was just in Goodreads. It was such a miserable thing to write. I guess the author didn't want to put her name to it, or his name to it. Okay, so catastrophizing is thinking the worst, what ifing, and how often does catastrophizing about what might happen stop you from just taking action? So when I met um, Jim Stroh and Bernie Dad from Radfest back in, I think about 2015, uh, my wife and I went for, uh, at the invitation of a friend to New York, and Jim and uh, Bernadette and uh, Aubrey and Liz Parrish and some others who might be here founded Radfest, Revolution Against Aging and Death. Viva! <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. <laughs> so there were about a thousand people at the conference, and we went to New York. And what I, what I found when I went there was I had no interest in living life forever, but I wrote a book, Psychology of Immortality, okay?